Hello, welcome to another tutorial from how do I connect um, a VST plugin like Geist F Expansion with Addictive Drums or BFD or Superior Drummer. Uh, I want to show you step by step how I do this because I don't like uh, to sequence drums inside of DAWs like Cubase or uh, Ableton because the features are in F expansion guys for example two uh, is much powerful um, in comparison to another inside doors I, I, that's my way so um, if you have the same approach to um, trigger drums like addictive drums with another sequence plugin I will want to show you how I do this um, you create two MIDI channels they are empty right now, so what I do is... Ah, um, by the way, I'm working in Ableton Live 10, but it's also possible Live 9 or Live 8. Um, so what I do is I load in the first, I load the Geist 2 uh, VST version. It's important, not the audio unit version. I load it inside there. Um, normally your um, Geist 2 plugin looks like this. Um, you have here your browser, you have here your pad area, and here you have your sequence lane. Uh, you pull the pad area up in my case because I don't need the browser. I don't want to search samples because I just want to trigger samples f um, to addictive drums. Um, and I switch it not from A or B. I switch the pad selection to all. On the second line, uh, on the second MIDI track, I want to load addictive drums. That's not important. What do you load of uh, if you want to load an audio unit or a VST plugin? It's not important. What's important uh, though is mm, you rename this here, for example, Geist, and here addictive drums. So, and here down on the bottom MIDI from, you have to select um, Geist. And normally you have your pre and post effects, um, but in, that's why important to load the VST version in the first track. Uh, here appears the Geist 2 panel uh, selection. Now select the Geist 2 um, um, and monitor switch it to in or on, like uh, I would say. So, um, when you go back to the Geist, oh, wait a minute, where is my addictive drums here? Here's my addictive drums. Here's my kit. Bum, bum, bum. And now when I trigger here, I can, oh, I can hit all the drum samples I have into in my Addictive Drums plugin. I want to show you a quick, um, um, quick beat. What I really like um, is the shift function in Geist. This one, for example and also the velocity and now where is the uh, uh, here is um, closed high And you also can uh, use the swing, the global mode of swing. And it's cool because um, I really like uh, I really like this um, when you want to drag. But that's another tutorial. Maybe. Um, if you want to drag then a pattern inside uh, your door, 
just drag your pattern inside here. When you use the shift function, I think this is a bug uh, because um, it normally your loop is going until the uh, it's just a full bar loop. But when you shift and um, uh, shuffle your sequence in guys too, it makes maybe because of this node, it's uh, longer than uh, your four bar loop. Uh, it makes a two bar loop. So what I have to do is make it shorter and then just the engine make it off and you can you have now your sequence inside Ableton yeah and can use other things what you do in Ableton for example yeah um, I hope you like it and I hope I can could show you some way you can also use different versions of um, plugins for example I used this in easy keys and use the MIDI um, playing notes from easy keys and triggered contact pianos or a synthesizer or whatever um, yeah I hope you have fun and bye bye and yeah leave me a comment or a like or whatever nothing <laughs> just make music